Our reporter Sarah Loudon is at the scene. Sarah, what more do we know about what happened? Well, good evening, Geraldine. You can see behind me the point at which the lorry came off this section of the Eastern Bypass last night. There's about a 10 metre section of parapet or metal fencing that's missing and temporary concrete barriers have been put there today. Now, miraculously, the lorry actually landed upright on the roundabout behind me. The driver escaped with minor injuries, and I understand he is doing well, and no other vehicles were involved. And I've actually been speaking to the haulage company who owned the truck, and they have dash cam footage, which I think you can see now. It shows the lorry travelling towards Headington, hitting a pothole, and the company say it caused it to destabilise, going into the central reservation, and then back onto the road and then off the bridge. The road conditions, we understand, were also icy. The company say they will be speaking to the driver when he's fit to return to work. We'll have a, a post-collision debrief, uh, discuss what happened, asked if there's any um, you know, follow-up action, whether the driver had any blame for the incident, which, in my opinion, I don't think so. He didn't appear to be driving excessively fast or doing anything he wasn't supposed to be doing from the cab camera. So uh, I think it's going to be a pretty much sort of one of those things type of accidents. Sarah, how long is the road expected to be closed for? Well, certainly today, uh, this elevated section has been closed while repair works were carried out to the central reservation. There were a number of engineers here throughout the day. They have now left, they've gone home, but Clearly there's more work to be done, so there will be continued disruption. For this evening's rush hour, we've got the eastbound section completely closed. We've got cars coming down the slip road onto the roundabout, and there's a, quite a queue, as you can see. And then they're going back onto the elevated section, bypassing that crash site. But westbound, one lane has reopened. That's going towards Blackbird Lees. But we still don't know when normal service will resume. Sarah, thank you.